Well, Christmas is the season of giving, but this year local nonprofits say they're getting more help than usual. KXAN's Kevin Clark learned that everyone from Girl Scouts to soccer players are getting in on the generosity. When I spoke with Sherman Stiffick at the Arch Friday, he had a new gym bag. Actually, if you know anything about being on the streets or being out there by yourself, you know, these kind of things come in handy. A Christmas present for him and the other men staying at the downtown shelter as they work to cycle out of homelessness. Amy Price of Front Steps, which operates the shelter, says because of the pandemic, people are donating more and through nonprofits. I think some of the boost this year is people putting that volunteer energy into giving. For example, these gym bags were donated by a youth soccer club. Inside the bag, candy bags with notes written by local Girl Scouts. Peace love and joy. And for cold nights, socks. Cameron Peake and his family collect them every year. This year, people donated more than 10,000 pairs. It kind of comes from uh, us wanting to like help a lot of people. I think 2020, we're all finding our um, our compassion button. Front Steps has already collected more than 1,400 blankets for its annual drive, more than ever. The nonprofit hopes to double that total over the next few months. It's not all about the gifts, but it's the spirit of giving. There's a lot that needs to be said in this day and time in 2020 about the spirit of giving. And that helps us because in this world, in this time, we need to have that spirit. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. Well, Front Steps is seeking large acrylic or fleece blankets for its drive. You can find more information about donating on our website at KXAN.com. While homeless camps may seem more visible, homelessness has not increased during the pandemic. That's what Austin's Ending Community Homelessness Coalition, or ECHO, told us back in October. ECHO says there aren't as many cleanups going on due to the pandemic, and you may be seeing more tents because advocates have been getting out more. Well, this year's point in time count conducted by ECHO found 2,500 people experiencing homelessness in the Austin Travis County area. More than 900 were sleeping in the shelters or transitional housing, but just over 1,500 people were unsheltered, sleeping outside in tents or cars. And that number of unsheltered people is up 488 compared to last year.